a new no. version? No book. Oh, no, the book. Okay. I thought I was reading something. No, Let's see. No. Yeah. I did recently. Go ahead. Noah let me borrow the mm-hmm. book Let Go. Oh, that's a good book. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been reading that. Huh. This has been a blessing to me. Let me give you a copy, actually. Oh, I have one. I have one. Yeah. I know. Yeah, you have a Noah's copy, right? So yeah, yeah. You don't have a new copy, right? So. Don't, no, I don't have yeah, a new copy. Yeah, I think that's beautiful to have. Well, I can't find it. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get to it. I don't no know worries. where it is. No worries. Huh. Huh, here we go. I remember I was your copy, so. Huh? Thank beautiful you. book. It is. Yeah, mm-hmm. I want to write my name to it. Mm-hmm. This is a looks cheap, but it's but it's actually just very good copy. Yeah, I like this book. Mm. This is something I used to pass it out. So. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, with uh, my honors for his highest. Mm. This are the I think the only two books I passed it out. So. Mm. Yeah. Personally, this is very. Uh, how we do this? Tell me. To, I guess to you. Yeah, sure. To Benjamin Mo. Okay. Yeah. Right here or here? Oh, wherever. Come on. Or me. On the cover, maybe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, here. Okay. Yes. Okay. To, Benjamin Mo. Yeah. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh man, sorry. <laughs> Benjamin Mo. You got it. Okay. No, it's good. That's good. <laughs> Then write my name from yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh man. My headline is terrible. No. Yeah. That's actually supposed to be better, but what day is it? Yeah. The twelfth. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you, man. Yeah, so far it's been, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> actually I read a letter, yeah. a letter in there this morning. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, it was a lot like what you were sharing, actually. Is that morning. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, it was the, the second letter, it was talking about how to uh, deal with sufferings. Oh. And how to... Uh, suffering, you want what light, what kind of suffering? Suffering yeah, many kinds. Mm. So. Well, mm-hmm. The way that he put it was, you know, as we are sons and we, you know, we identify with Christ. Yes. And in that death. Yes. As we, you know, endure the sufferings even of just the soul and, mm-hmm. you know, the flesh, you know, the... the Undisciplined soul, huh? Yeah, exactly. The, so like a beast, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. I'm sorry. The, uh. the desires of the soul and how yeah. we feel because of that. Yeah. And... You know how to overcome it is to, to be identified with that death and to be yes, you know, yes. dead to those things. To turn around so you don't feel the table. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. But I mean, turn around the table so you can have hmm? stretch. Hmm? Kick your feet on, yeah. on that on that chair. Kick your feet. You can. Oh, no, no, yeah. that's yeah. I so fine. That. Relax. No, that's good Two hours conversation. Yeah. We need relaxation. So. <laughs> yeah, joking. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, I mean, we can read it if you want. I all the conversation you had, or yeah, the read together, that, yeah. That I wrote this morning. Good. Let me read it. Yeah. Which one? That's right. Oh man, I like that. Oh, the first one. Second, Second one. one. Okay. Yeah, I used to translate that thing in Chinese actually. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Never finished. I I think I got half done. Mm, that's not bad. Letter two. This is a letter go by Finland. Mm. Mm-hmm. How to bear suffering, as to preserve peace. Regarding our friends, a praying gone to best upon him, a simplicity that it shall give him peace. We need to instantly drop all needless and restless reflections, which arise from a self love. Wow, there you go. That's our trouble. Yeah. <laughs> that is a, as different from the true clarity that is possible. Me, me, me. Maybe not selfish, but a self love, you know, mm-hmm. self uh, concerned, mm-hmm. self oriented, mm-hmm. self purposed. It's a loop of self. Yeah, yeah that's all. That's a serpent. Mm-hmm. Head by the tail. Mm-hmm. Self sufficient, but it, 
Why are you so sufficient? Because you love yourself, care about yourself. Mm-hmm. You become your own idol. Ego. E- egotism. Ego. Mm-hmm. Egoistic. So. Mm-hmm. What are the word? Yeah, I think that's right. As a, what the servant represent. Can you believe that? So, oh, really? Yeah. Ego? No. The ego? serpent bites his own tail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a means of religion. So. Mm-hmm. Which really means a humanism. Mm. Can you believe that? Wow. We all think it's a man. Serving yeah. man. Yeah. Actually, the serpent is who, mm. who is really led you by your own tail. Right. Mm. So many, many meaning to that. Oh yeah. Picture, but it has shown up in many of our visions. So. Yeah. So let's continue. So that self love, am I right? So, yeah. 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 If we are faithful in doing this, God will set us in a large place. Even the midst of the street and their path. That's amazing, huh? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. The more confined you are, mm. the, the more, more free you are, actually. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm. We shall be in the pure liberty and innocent, pe- innocent peace of the, cho- the children of God. And we shall not be found wanting it is all God or man. Apply to myself the same counsel that I give to others, as I'm well persuaded, and I must seek my own peace in the same direction. My heart is now suffering, however, it is life itself that causes us a pain. <laughs> that which is dead does not suffer all that. I remember I meditated that for days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's very significant for yeah. human life. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. It's very potent, all right? Yeah. Simple, but it's so much. Mm. So much oh. depth to it. Yeah. yeah, I feel painful, I feel sorrowful, I feel agitated. Oh, that is a, the old <laughs> me is me, working, yeah. <laughs> acting out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, we want sympathy, all right? Mm-hmm. And affirmation, you know? <laughs> I think most of the Christian council and uh, friendship could could is actually is the kind of thing that stop us going to the cross, you know? Mm. Rather than encourage us to go to the cross. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Think about it, huh? Eh? Mm. We would only bear bodily sufferings with uh, equanimity. But a spiritual affliction also, a spiritual affliction, have you heard even the term? Mm. You have to flick yourself, but do you want to flick your spirit? <laughs> yeah, you do. Why? If you are sore, you're gonna be beaten, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so, yeah, you'll be yeah. arrow gonna be tied up, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean the bow, whatever bow and arrow, so mm-hmm. something gonna done to you. Mm-hmm. Right? This is a part of Christianity that lost on me, popular Christianity. Mm-hmm. Because that's the experiences so we're meaningful experiences. Yeah. And it's a living. You can't mm-hmm. imagine it. You cannot mentally assign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's to be real, real. Mm-hmm. By s- spiritual affliction, I mean, he definitely finds trouble that is being spent upon the soul apart from it itself. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting, huh? Mm. Basically, discipline the soul to conform to the work of that down your spirit. Yes, yeah. so, mm-hmm. the spirit is willing, but the flesh is. Uh, is a weak, right? So, yeah. mm. That weak there is about the will. Mm. It's not strengthly weak. Because spirit is willing, it means a will, right? It has strong will. Mm. So contrary to that, is the flesh is uh, try to dilute that will, right? So mm. to, to miss that will. So mm. it's weak. So. Mm. 
are you willing or not? Basically, yeah. yeah. The spirit wants you to be willing, the flesh wants you to draw back. Yeah, so it's so. a struggle to the wheel. So huh. that's not what we think, you know, yeah. right? <laughs> the spirit's the flesh is weak. Yeah. You could have more body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, so, that's not yeah. That. Mm. The opposition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically, the time of the inner struggle. Mm-hmm. The spirit in you want to do it. That's mm. what Romans 7 talking about, right? Mm. Mm. I want to do good, but my yeah. flesh draw me back, you know? Yeah. I don't want to do it, so... Mm. I will not do the things I... The thing I don't want to do, I will find myself doing, so... Mm. Yeah. I want to obey God, but in my flesh, said, well, you, 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 you don't really want to obey God in everything, right? So, yeah. So you rebel, or disobey, mm. so... I in my how hard I wanted to believe God or obey God, but I'm, I found myself not doing the things I want to do, right? So, mm. so it becomes a struggle. Mm. It's in every every hard hand goes through. Mm. It's a so yeah, then eight chapter turn around and said, "Oh, bless me, because this struggle does not condemn me mm. from being a son of God, mm. because actually it is a growing process." But once I'm freed from this, I can be led by the Spirit. Mm. You know the word led mean there? It means going. Mm. <laughs> it's not just the led, okay, somebody give me a good tour about the yeah. park, am I? Yeah, Walk in the way. park, yeah. Mm-hmm. Led is captive. Mm. Led is captive. Mm. Put under somebody authority. put it on, your, on the robe, you know? Mm. Check it where you want, don't want to go. Mm. So that's what it is. Mm. It's incredible, huh? Yeah. You had a, Willingly to be led. Mm. That's crazy. <laughs> so that's why Paul said, a bond slave, I'm a bond slave. Mm. You am a son. I become a bond slave. Mm. Mm? This is quite even he's a son, he become a bond servant unto the will of the Father to secure our salvation, right? So yeah. 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 So mm. even you have full freedom, full right. To not do the thing you, you don't want to do, mm. but you choose to do the thing you want to do because it's in Father's will. Mm. And like with the purpose, so we're using you to suffer. Mm. That's why Paul said, I fill up Christ's suffering. Basically, Christ's suffering is different than our self inflicted suffering, which yeah. is saying do suffering, mm-hmm. right? So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now, Christianity said, let's comfort each other. Let's uh, be good to one another when we are stuck in what? Trouble. In sinful yeah. suffering, right? Mm. So, basically, all you live in a dungeon, mm. never get out of it. Mm-hmm. The dungeon of sin, the death, right? Mm. So, it's a sad place to be stuck in. The old self, yeah, yeah. yeah so, this, this author is very compelling. Mm-hmm. This, this, Simple words. Mm. We're, comf- we're comforting at the same time. We're truthful. Usually I can't read on. Because it's like a sword, you know? It's, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's cut you. It's also yeah. deep, you know? So yeah. I can't just move on. Okay. Well, it, that, that style of book is like, it's meant to be like taken very slowly, right? Very slowly. Yeah. Meditative, yeah. Mm-hmm. I read this book at least 10 times. Mm. <laughs> this true on it. Mm. Yeah. I remember a few times I read, read, I can't move on. So I'll come back to it again. Yeah. Come back to it again. And again and again. I can't, I can't read it down because I know I cannot do it. I can't even think it like mm. that. Wow. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like the time it was reading, it was like somebody really operating in my heart. Yeah. Like every word is just talking to me, you know? Mm. So. Wow. So intimate. So real. So. Mm. Mm. Let's move on, sorry. Yeah. So in contrast, the disturbance of rest activity are only experienced because some of the life of the self still remains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In such restless activity, the soul has a burden of attitude and resistance. It's resistance. Rebellion. Yeah, and, un- and the unwillingness to suffer on the cross imposed by the hand of God. Is that amazing? Mm. God put you there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't believe the devil. No. Yeah. Mm. He crawls that it come purely from God. It is cordially welcomed without any self reflective acts. Mm. It's both painful and peaceful. Ah, can you believe mm. that? At the same time. Yeah, at the same time. It's crazy. <laughs> Much like you being dealt with a cancer. Cancer has inflicted a long time, finally, you, to cut it off, right? So, yeah. yeah. And it's very painful. Yeah. I mean, it's hurt to you. Yeah. But when the doctor said, hey, your cancerous tissue is dealt with, you don't worry about it, you know? Yeah. You don't need to worry about it, of be fearful for the rest of your life. Right. About the cancer anymore. It brings peace. You're so happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm painful. <laughs> it's, uh, never had such a pain before. Mm. But, uh, oh my. That peace. Yeah, that peace, you know. Yeah. After this, I'm good, you know. Mm -hmm. mm. So, you leave, whether you live in constant terror or fear about mm. what the outcome is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you must have all dealt with, you know. Mm. So, yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Lord, forgive us mm -hmm. when we struggle with your death blow. Mm -hmm. In contrast, if such a cross is unwillingly received, unwillingly received, willingness is a key, eh? mm -hmm. and repelled by the life of nature, it becomes doubly severe, oh, wow. mm -hmm. more acutely felt, right? So, yeah. One yeah. thing is to have a pain, the other thing is the don't devil. like the pain. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. don't have any good hope mm. or reason to to think the pain is serves some weird purpose, you know. So mm. You have comments? Go ahead. No. You have some thoughts? Yeah. I'm okay. Still, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Think about okay. it. Okay. In fact, our own internal resistance is harder to bear than the cross itself. Mm. Have you think about it? I read that this morning. And I was it's like, oh. very potent statement. Mm -hmm. The fear of something that you have to do, so you don't want to do it, resist it, right? Mm -hmm. The re the fear of doing it. It's a resistance mm -hmm. to have to do something. It's more severe a burden than actually doing it. Okay, let me say something to you. It's very interesting. You beat it by the snake. The poison begins to seep in your blood and you invisibly come upon your arms, right? Mm -hmm. Your fingers, say, hand, arm, then get your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So if you resisted it, in the beginning, only time, huh? chop your finger will be fine, right? Mm -hmm. One of your fingers. Mm -hmm. But if you refuse it, the poison continues in weed. Mm. You have to chop your hand. The whole hand. The whole hand, mm. yeah. Mm. And then you, if you still refuse it, they have to chop your forearms. Mm. You still refuse it, they can chop your shoulder off. You know, mm. so, I mean, the whole arm can chop yeah. off. Mm. If you still refuse it, they can just chop mm. coming your blood, right? <laughs> Don't reach your heart, reach your brain, you're done. I mean, normally it comes through the arms already, you just down. Mm. So, sin of the devil's lies like that. You know, if you refuse to deal with it, resist mm. it, and get killed, cut it off in the beginning. That's why Jesus said, chop your off your mind if you cause you to sin. Yeah. Gauze your eyes out if it causes you to sin. I think I taught that, right? Yeah. In ancient times, they don't have good medicine. They don't have a delicate operation. Just, That's what they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get beaten by a snake. Or your eye getting infected. And gouge it out. Gouge it out, yeah. Mm -hmm. You just have to do it. So. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. It's a bloody, huh? <laughs> but save your soul. Save your whole life. Yeah. So. Sounds cruel, huh? It's crazy. We translate that in more than day in different foolish contests. Yeah. We don't say they do they don't have medical remedy. 
It's the only thing you do. This is basically what Jesus is saying. No other option. Basically. Yeah, make a quick determination. Mm. Get rid of those mm. bad stuff so don't spill it over, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Think about simple things. If we have pride, okay, we have pride with a certain thoughts okay i don't like that idea i don't i don't agree with it even i know it's true fully true i don't like it so i'm going to okay but maybe i don't contain it and just invade it am i mm. refuse to agree with it or yield to truth pride of opinion what mm. in your opinion so next thing somebody come around and say hey i have a different opinion and uh, this is a, I think it's truthful. Suddenly they say, I don't like that guy identifying that opinion because I don't agree with it, right? So you I know he's right. You I know the opinion is right. Mm. But I don't like it. Therefore, I will not like that person who actually is speaking truth to me. Mm. Who actually is, he's, he's just standing for truth, right? Yeah. I don't like the person where mm. walking in truth. I began the pride of opinion began to be what? Translated. Because I don't like uh, his represent truth, I don't like him. Mm. So I began to be proud of what? Mm. Against him. Mm. I don't like how we how he look. I don't like the way how he talk. I don't like the way he go about with that opinion, share his teaching, whatever. Mm. I just don't like it. Mm. So he translated pride against a person. Mm. The person is supposed to be your friend. Even a teacher, right? Yeah. Now he become your enemy. You made yourself his enemy. He didn't do anything. Your pride drive you Into that. to become, become an enmity with that mm-hmm. person. Mm-hmm. Now, once you become an enmity with that person, and people love the truth, mm-hmm. or less than that person, or be friend with that person, right? Mm-hmm. How many miss it, okay? Mm-hmm. Just like a finger to the hand, to the arm, to the whole body. Because you have a pride against some truth. You begin to pride against someone stand for truth. Now you begin to dislike and the prideful against the people who embrace the truth through this person. Mm. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah. Huh? I don't like that group of people. Mm. I don't get to have anything to do with them. And then, if that is your parents, your children, your wife, or your husband, I don't like them anymore. Mm. <laughs> to stand for a Republican Party. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> I'm joking with you. <laughs> Make sense here? Yeah. 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 They believe in Christ. I don't believe in Christ. Mm. I believe in Buddha. I'm Quite a certain opinion. I'm yeah. joking with you. Mm-hmm. It's all came from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Saying so your your family not gonna have a happy family. Okay, mm-hmm. ready? Can you have a happy family? After that, mm-hmm. I don't think so. Mm. Just like it starts with the finger. That's you, and then it goes. Yeah. To your yes. Family. Yes. 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 When can I share something with you on of this course. point? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was this gentleman. We're kind. He's one of the kindest soul I ever saw. Mm. But he has this idea about the peace. He don't want to involve any argument. Mm. So he would draw to truth, you know. He's a friend of my friend. But his, his mother is a Buddhist. So Buddhists never argue with anybody. It's giving everything, right? So my friend is very contentious those time. He definitely made it on blunder for that <laughs> score. And I was on the friend, you know. Mm. He basically wanted me to... To continue to reason with a gentleman, mm. to move on with God, that gentleman said, give me time, you know, I'll figure it out, you know, let's have a friendship, let's hunt around, mm. you know, let's just enjoy our time together, right? So, mm. And my friends not get, have it. <laughs> so he'll continue to argue with this person. And, you know, we sit down, finally, I'm joining the conversation. Mm. And, uh, you know, he's very kind. Were were tempered, my friend was almost agitated, continued argumentative. So I was standing here, raking the dilemma. On one part, like the young man, 
Because we're respectful, we're peaceful, we're clear-minded. Mm. But his resistance is the truth. Mm. With my friend, Tim is unbalanced, <laughs> where he enthusiastic, mm. does not give any much breathing room yeah. to go around, you know. Yeah. So I call him the rather basically. Mm. Finally, he turned to me, they all turned to me for some counsel. He said, well, you, you got to understand, this is not a matter whether peace or not, or whether argue or not. Mm. You're literally facing a living op- operation. Then God make your friend mm. a living vessel for you. You like it or not, he is not, he's not giving up. Am I? <laughs> And he is arguing with you because you insist on another way. And he had tasted the power of God, he understands the truth. So if you have a great love than you, than yourself, your will processing things, to him is obtrusive. He, he thinks it's, it's not going to work. So you have a choice. Do you think God is using your friend? To stir things up for you, <laughs> pressure you to do something, or you want to manage the whole process. Mm. According to, I'm not sure you learned that. And truth is there, you agree with it, you want to do it. Why do you think it takes forever to make decision to do something? Mm. Like being baptized, you know. Mm. Like entering into some solid relationship you know, with the Lord. Why do you think that's good? I mean, he knows it's true. You know, you, basically, he was not necessarily happy with the mom, right? She was peaceful, Buddha, but there's no peace in his life. So the mom is very controlling. So, 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 so this is what he told me, you know. Every time I argue with him, and then I have a good conversation, but I feel peace. <laughs> I feel free, you know. Hmm. Uh, you? No, my friend, yeah. this Buddhist guy. <laughs> so, so this is a lot going on, you know? Mm. His old mind said, I don't like the argument. I don't, I don't want to be tense. I want to take my time. <laughs> so he do not peace, right? <laughs> so, so, because the spirit working, committing him. You know? mm. And then mm. uh, he want to get, get over his mom away, all the old mm. way. Mm-hmm. At the same time, when he don't do that, he's tormented, you know? Mm. He knows his life is not a good place, so he's tormented. And then he talks to the friend, argument is as is, but he got some new light, new revelation, he bring mm. back, and he put in practice, he got peace. <laughs> so, mm. contrary, huh? Wow. Yeah. yeah. So peace. What a peace. Mm. Peace on the surface? <laughs> or oh, real peace in the heart? Mm. Those are living lessons you learn. I know Buddhist, Buddhists were well, you know, but uh, I'm sorry, I didn't very serious practice. I said, yeah, I know what they, what they thinking about, you know, so. Mm. And I was not so impressed by my friend's intensity as well, <laughs> so. Mm. <laughs> he was a uh, quite a young double, he was always young, but he was a uh, super immature, yeah, and so, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. Anyway, what am, my point is that, hey, what is better? To have somebody to pressure you or introduce you to a quick change or continue prolong that process of change mm. and make yourself burdensome to yourself and burdensome to everybody walking mm. in truth with you. Yeah. Which is better? The first one. You mm. see? That's a false Christianity that uh the first one is wrong, second yeah. one. That's false Christianity. Mm. Shallow Christianity, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't see Jesus do that. I don't see John the Baptist do that. I don't see any disciple do that. They all will tell you, repent! <laughs> <laughs> Almost there's no tomorrow, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Truth, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Repent! They're also going to walk away from you. Mm. To do Christianity, don't dare to do that, right? Yeah. So, oh my. <laughs> yeah. You don't love the people, man. Mm. Obviously, not godly. Mm. 
I try to poke some holes in the kind of false Christianity we grew up with. Mm. It's very much a false. Yeah. A false form of godliness. Let's go on. Mm. Let's... Sorry, comment. Go ahead. No, I just said let's go on, yeah. Yeah. Nothing so shorten and soothes our pains as a spirit of non-resistance. Mm. Non-resistance. This kind of books taught me a lot. Mm. Did God want to deal with something with you? He's on target. He knows what yeah. I need him, right? I don't reason with him anymore. Mm. I just yield to it. Mm. Amen. Regardless of how hard it is, or how out of my understanding it is, but if God says that's it, I yield to it. Mm. It's painful. Mm. It's definitely not. I don't know what's going on. Mm. That's very painful in the beginning. But we usually want to bargain with God. <laughs> oh, that seemed meant to God me a lot. <laughs> oh, Every time I bargain with God, actually. Mm. So, mm. so how to stop bargaining with Him? Mm. I still do it today. Mm. But God's patience, you know? Mm. But we want to bargain. We think it's the right to bargain. That is different than sometimes you can't help the bargain, right? So, yeah. And the minimum, we want to impose the limits and <laughs> see the end of our sufferings. Oh my. It's terrible. Mm. Actually, it makes suffering more unbearable mm. by imposing a limit. Mm. And the same obstinate and hidden hold on to our old life, it would render the cross necessary wow i knew why the dealing with god hard dealing with god because i'm obstinate you know mm. yeah i mean let's see there are two kind of materials you know why you want to make a square shape right if the material refuse to be bent make a square and there are another material where you use like like a cloth, and right? where you use the bend. The other is a stick. Mm -hmm. You want to break it, they're not gonna <laughs> make a square <laughs> unless you break it. Mm. And that's a steel, heavy steel, you know, straight and steel. You, a lot of force to bend it, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, still you still have to keep yourself uh, together. The steel you don't break. Mm -hmm. Can't want to make you a square to measure something. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I making sense here? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So which one you want to be? Basically, the more resistant you are, the more strength you can apply it until you bend into the square. <laughs> I mean, stop it, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> making sense here? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. The <laughs> longer and the harder the process will be. Yes, more resistance. more resistance, the more strength you yeah. apply, you know? Mm -hmm. So many people, why are guys so hard on me? <laughs> because I refuse to yield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see that in children. Mm. In such a sense, go ahead, wash some dishes. I mean, he happy. Oh, thank you, mom, let me help you. Great. Mom, can I help with some dishes? You don't even ask. I'm a lazy boy, but I never have to have my parents to tell me what to do. Mm. I'm a lazy. I would do everything to tell me what to do. I'm a lazy. They don't want me to run around. They want me help. But I first show that I want to help. Mm. But it turns out I don't need it. They tell me I don't need to do it. Mm. Do you think that other children grow up? Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm the laziest boy. Get my point? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm a sport, nobody wants me to help you, no one wants to see enjoy my life. So. Mm -hmm. That's okay, but I always volunteer. Yeah. Yeah, do you need me? Can I do something? You know, can I go with you guys? Mm -hmm. Regardless of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. 
Eh? Hallelujah. Nobody asked me. Eh? Sometimes you, you know, saying you know how to do, you miss your temper. They learn it. They don't like to do that. They, 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 just, they just naturally don't want you to do it. Yeah. Why? Because they know you know, your heart is not for it, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you're not free to help, not lazy or refuse to be helpful. To give you a lot of freedom, a slack mm. for your choices. Mm. But that's out of respect. Yeah. Means, means I learned that a little bit, right? Mm. So, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Mm. Yeah. It's a different mindset. It's a different mindset, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. They allow me to have my freedom, allow me to, to, to make my favorite choices. Mm. They will chase me away to have a fun. Am I making sense to you? You know, I don't do anything. I just hang around. Just want to be with them. I'll be with them. I know mm -hmm. how for, but I'm going to check on them. So mm -hmm. in the water, I'm going to bring water to them. In the food, I'm going to go home to fetch the food for them, whatever, you know? So yeah. I'm willing to, to do anything they want me to do. And nobody tell me to do that. Yeah. They're doing the bigger deal. I'm just tag along with a little corner, you know? Is that making sense to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the same attitude applying my work. Mm. I would say, can I help? Can I do something? Yeah. Can mm. you tell me something? You know, mm. I'm going to help you, you know. I don't know anything, but you can tell me what to do. I can help. So. Mm. I just want to help. It's art of life. People say, oh, you're just teaching them to be dinner, to be humble, whatever. No, Benji, I'm teaching a we how to approach life from a totally different way. <laughs> <laughs> get my point? <laughs> you get my point? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If we all were free, free the others are going to control, bully us, misuse us. Therefore, you're going to always on guard. Mm. Oh, maybe they're going to control. Maybe I'm going to abuse my contribution. Maybe they'll take wonders of me. Well, people can smell that from miles away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, obviously, you don't think I can be your friend. You don't think I'd be right in dealing with you. I don't want you to run. Mm. Why should I? Unless I'm necessary. As a young person, you come to elder or people who have knowledgeable experience, they can help you and want to help mm. you, right? If you suspect them, mm. <laughs> they want to abuse you. They want to misuse you. Or they want to control you. Rather said, they know what they're doing. They're going to reward with my contribute, right? Mm. So I gave me the right kind of relationship or whatever needed. Treat them like decent, right? Mm. They will treat you back with decency, right? So, mm -hmm. And trust, right? Mm. So. Mm. Mm. Different way, huh? Simple. Yeah. They're so simple, yeah. yeah. I win the friendship with the toughest, meanest person in the world by doing that. My supervisor, especially. When I doing things that way after a short while, mm. because they know I always responsible, accountable, I tell them what what's going on, you know. So yeah. I have the exclusive trust soon, very soon. Just recognize I'm not gonna hide things from them. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna abuse or trust. Mm. You know, I always have them in my respect, the honor, especially if they are leading me. They are my leader, right? I want them to prove and understand what I'm doing and give assessment to my doing, mm -hmm. whether I'm doing right or wrong, right? Mm -hmm. So that I improve, right? Mm -hmm. There's the beauty for that. First, you learn the trust. Second, by you reporting them, because you have a wonderful learning process. They literally tell you what needs to be proved, what can be done, right? So, mm -hmm. nothing. 
they have some other things. They want you to be part of the council. Can you give me some idea? I already have the conversation, and I say, yeah. no, to sh- naturally share their responsibility, their their struggle or whatever the working process with you. Mm. You learn from them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They will share what oh this is trouble with me. You know this is going on. You know they not intending even have you to offer any solution. But you have a conversation, and right? You have yeah. partnership beyond the sphere. Mm-hmm. You become a partner for their, the process of decision making. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know what? <laughs> they will explain to you, ask you to be part of it. So it's so natural. Mm-hmm. You didn't really squeeze in and say, hey, I need to be part of this. Mm-hmm. Just, you become their friend, become the process naturally involved. Most important, when you mess it up, which sometimes do. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Yeah. Nobody can do 100%. That's not even required in the job. Yeah. But you want to be responsible. Yeah. You don't cover up, you know. Just come around home and say, I'm sorry. You know? What do you think your partner are going to do? Mm. Oh, don't worry about it. We can handle this. Let's, let's bring remedy. Am I? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll cover that. They did that many times with me. It's my mess, but they cover it. <laughs> Make it sense to you? Yeah. It's a matter for, you know, some question, some remedy come around. Mm. No worries. Everybody make mistakes. So you in their favor. That's called what? The Bible called the God, Jesus Christ walking in God's favor and in the favor of what? Mm. Man. 16 years old. This is a, one of the best lessons I gave you to as a young man. If you respect others, others are going to respect you. If you try to do good to others, others are going to do good to you. Mm. If you trust them, even they feel your trust, but you want them to trust you. Now, I'm talking about the people you have to do, okay? Yeah. yeah. Certain people, you don't have to do anything. Mm. You don't have a good relationship. You don't have to do a relationship with them. You know, you're not in the business of changing people, am I? So maybe make it sense to you, you know, so I'm just saying to you. Yeah, maybe you have news to tell you all kind of things going wrong in the government, in other nations. Are you obligated to have an opinion about it? Maybe not. You may have an opinion, but you really can you think that opinion really matter to anybody? Keep to yourself most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Make sense to you, you know? mm. It's not your business. Mm. Spare yourself the trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Think it, you can do something about it. Mm. Mm. I'll give you some life lesson rather than reading books, okay? So, yeah. Another thing. Do you want to hear some story? Yeah. yeah. I, I used to, you know, everybody how difficult to sign checks when I'm working. I think Lighthead, God is uh, showing me something to you. Mm. I don't share life story until it's something good to learn a little mm. bit, okay? So, mm. the lesson I want to learn is that how to learn and trust. Mm. Trust must be learned. Do you know that? Mm. It's a stupid young, young youthful spirit and the spirit of culture, like American culture, mm. they said, you must trust me because what? I'm a citizen, I should have. <laughs> oh, I'm willing, I want, you know. You don't have to trust any girlfriend, am I? going to be your wife, am I? So, I'm sorry. I mean, make sense to you? It's a basic process. Yeah. That's not means I distrust you. Mm-hmm. Only that I don't trust you in this capacity, mm-hmm. in this possibility, mm-hmm. in this relationship, in a certain extent. I mean, hallelujah. Mm. We all know that, am I? You're good to interview your job. You definitely think others should trust you can do the job, right? Or else why you do the interview? Mm. Uh, unless you just foolish, you know, to come to the job, and then mm. <laughs> you should have for interview. It's foolish, you know? So, yeah. Make it sense to you, you know? So, but obviously, there is a job waiting for you. You, you feel you qualify, you can help, right? So hopefully that's norm you know, for us. We should have. Do we expect that we're going to just be hired? 
<laughs> Are you gonna blame the way I interview you? Uh, Said he discriminated you or something? I, hope, people, not, I hope not, then, right? Yeah. He's nothing wrong, really. Mm. I mean, he did his job, mm-hmm. you know, in selecting a good candidate. Mm. He walked away from the, tried to do the better job, you know? Mm. Improve your, your skills, improve your. your well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, to find another job. Mm. Do you think you're entitled for that job? I think nobody in American people do that. They don't know that, am I? Nobody do that, am I? So. Mm. Not in Christianity. Mm. <laughs> Not in everyday friendship. It's very weird. I think more meaningful, much matter for that relationship or that trust than merely have a job, right? Listen very carefully. <laughs> young man, we'll call you young man this occasion. Mm. That relation, that trust, more enduring, consequential, and meaningful than have a, this, this good job. Because mm-hmm. job can change, right? Yeah. You don't work for this company, you can work for the next, right? You cannot work for this time, you can work next year. Maybe, you know, try it out, right? So, but certain relation, you can't. It's your father, it's your child, mm-hmm. it's your wife. It's your friend matter to you, am I, sir? Yeah. You can't just walk away and say, hey, I'm going to find a new one. Mm. <laughs> so you must learn to build a culture of trust. Mutual respect. To start with. Before have any meaningful and fruitful conversation. Mm. We must, that's art. You must do some effort. To learn the trust. Lay the groundwork. Do something about it. <laughs> Am I? Everybody dress right, try to polish right, get the salon, you know, see your beard, look at the mirror, feel it high, <laughs> get the tight, untied, yeah. tied up, whatever, in order to meet an interviewer, right? So that you can find a good job. Mm. <laughs> but we were careless with the things, what? Mm. Actually mandated to us. Yeah. which treated with complacency. Mm. And certain, pe- certain people continue to do relations that matter to us, continue with this contempt and the f- mm. we call it the familiar spirit, whatever. Yeah. They never really invest in the right way. Mm. They never invest in it. Friendship. You don't grow up with a friendship, you build a friendship, right? Yeah. <laughs> Something you have to invest. Mm-hmm. You want a girl to be your wife. I mean, this is like the word girl meant to be your wife. I hope that something mm-hmm. can happen. That's all I'm having, right? Mm-hmm. So, something had to work on it. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And you feel joy to do that because you're looking for the brighter future with our life together, right? So, yeah, mm. worse investment. Mm. Why would we invest in meaningful relationship? Spiritually, a familiar relationship. I'm talking in families. Oh, that's my sister. That never change. What? Why you don't have a girlfriend saying the girlfriend never change? You want to woo the girl. Why do you think a sister with you can never change? Year in, year out. Every day have an opportunity to do something about it. Mm-hmm. Why you let it slide down her? Oh, that's somebody in my fellowship, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't really bother to do anything, to know the person, the Western person. That's not you, I'm just saying, right? So, that kind of mindset. You want a meaningful relationship? Mm-hmm. Can it happen? No. Then pressure others, said, you must treat me the same like another person. Because we are all about others. Why do you treat your sister differently? <laughs> a little bit, I'm not sorry. So. <laughs> Making sense here? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, get some common sense. Mm-hmm. And don't be blinded or be argued out. This is normal. This is real life, or getting done. 
And don't let foolish Christians tell you to do otherwise. Mm. It never worked. Nobody said it's going to work. Mm. And God never blesses <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Amen. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Those are things we're near you. Mm. Easy to do. Easy to do. What am I saying? Easy to do. Mm. You can cook a meal for somebody. Cook a meal. Why not? Mm -hmm. You know, through the years, I have some imbalanced relationship, right? And the... I don't necessarily pick on people, but uh, boy, I'm thinking, that's crazy. Mm. How people are so blinded. You know, sorry, young people get up. They never pay the bill. I always cover the bill. Mm. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm the spiritual leader. I'm the elder. I'm, I'm poor, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Well, they have a very terrible lifestyle. Mm. You find those people that always struggle with the finances. <laughs> <Just, yeah>. mm. <laughs> Why? Because you're stingy. Nobody wants to handle finances with you. Mm. <laughs> you used to have a stingy lifestyle. <laughs> Nobody wants to be a stingy person around. They want to involve somebody who's stingy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Making sense here? Yeah. yeah. And those are people complaining. Why well, am not a bigger involved with bigger things, bigger responsibilities? Well, interesting. By your will of treating people, people that are that they're not comfortable mm. to have you involved with bigger things, yeah. relationally. Mm. Because they know something's going to happen and going to break the relation down. Mm. Do you want to work with stingy people when you have a terrible work with us? It stands to be always the sign is always a oh what I have what I don't have me 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 am right yeah. can you do me life in the field of the work of the Lord mm -hmm. so if it's stingy right. that's worth speaking mm. you don't have a heart for people mm. you don't want the hazard to have a heart for you either mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're pretty lucky yeah. Don't be a stingy person, Benzi. Mm. I know you're not. <laughs> That's mm. that. Yeah. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. If you do your best, try your best. Everything has a balance, propriety. Mm. But be willing. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Be hospitable. That word is more than just, hey, people show up, I'm going to treat them right. Be hospitable. It means to step out to fill in the need as we have a need. Make sense here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, naturally, if we do so, people understand you more than have a heart for your own well-being. Mm -hmm. You have a heart for what? Mm -hmm. For everybody's well-being. I think I need. Mm -hmm. Some things just open up, am I right? Yeah. Everybody know you're not a stingy person. More than that, you're a person who wants to help everybody, am I right? That's a godly you must have. Mm. You're not there to <laughs> just to be a leader for nothing, right? <laughs> just to be kind. Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. You must get involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Once you have such a lifestyle, anything can hold you back mm. from being a leader? You have to be this occasion, that occasion, this people, that people, or you're always going to be a leader. <laughs> you have to be this generation, with that group of people, mm. or you naturally anywhere, you're going to be a leader. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. This book, as good as good, this still personal pious. Mm. Get it? That's the cell. Mm -hmm. That's the limit of this book. Mm -hmm. But you need to go beyond this book. Mm. 
the man fell in the air. In order to go beyond the self that we use for God, we must just deal with our own self. <laughs> also, what do we have to offer? Yeah. I mean, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Am I making sense here in this? Uh, yeah. But this is put tremendous meaning for to clean up your own junk, basically. Yeah. So, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Once I recognize the limit of this book, it's a wonderful book. Mm -hmm. Every day still apply, can apply. Mm. But the vision is still mm. self, not self love, self centered. Mm. Mm. That's a limitation, so. Yeah. I'm not saying people don't want, want to work out, help people with God. I'm talking about the other way. Mm. We need to appreciate the book where it is helpful, nice, mm. um, for season, okay? Mm. So, yeah. So, let's move on. Mm. That's good. Thank you for bringing this to me. So, mm. so I thought, okay. It also causes us to reject the cross in part, huh? We don't have the full blow of the cross, am I? So, mm. And through our secret resistance, we impair the virtue of the cross assigned to us. Oh, wow. Is that amazing? Mm. As a result, we have to go over the same ground again and again. Oh, wow. <laughs> that one scares me, I remember. <laughs> I mean, this book is very hard to, to read on. Because I envision it. I don't want to do this again and again, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. especially it's a painful and welcome mm -hmm. process, right? So, yeah. let's get that now, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, I remember I, I prayed hard to God. I said, God, <laughs> I can't help you going to recite to some circle and round, you know? Mm -hmm. But please. Don't let me no go. more three times. That's <laughs> my prayer. So I'm, so I'm sorry. That the third time I'm gonna learn how to listen and get on with it. No summit. So, Amen. Yeah. One time, okay, it's just not resistant to me. The second time I know about resisting it, but the third time, okay, God, whether I resist it or not, to get it done, you know, because I don't want to go through a fourth time, fifth time. I'm just teaching you. So. Yeah. Is there places you resist more for sure? Mm. It's just a seven seven seven. seven. <laughs> I'm still mm. barking with God. He's there God. But I'm talking about the, the means you're dealing with, right? He's dealing with us on a daily basis. Mm. Mm. We suffer greatly, but we're little props with we're little to wear little prop pro purpose. Lord, deliver us from Fall into that state of a soul. Ah, that is a miserable soul. Mm. In which crosses are for no benefit to us. Mm. According to Paul, God loves a cheerful giver, cheerful giver. Actually the word means offer. Mm. Means offer sacrifice. Become a living sacrifice. You make the offer. Mm. You are the offer. And you made the offer. Amen? Hallelujah. Is that making sense here? Mm. Now let me tell you something of the trick with God. David had this example. So oftentimes we hold the dear the things to us. Don't want to give to God, right? And God wants the best. Well, sometimes we know He wants the best. Mm. I refuse to give to him, right? Mm. <laughs> it's my son. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> it's my wife. It's my husband. It's my father. My mother. I'm going to decide how to deal with this gun when I think it's right. I'm ready. Mm. And I'm willing. When I convince I'm willing. Which you never willing, right? Because if you think like that, you already never always yeah. really that it be willing, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a lie. Think you're gonna be willing. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a facade. It's a lie, right? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And Danny is um, saying, Benji, when God wants to use you, give him the best. If you really want to have God play some book, something or some relationship, give him that relationship first. Mm. Wow. Then receive as a blessing. Mm. When he give you back, mm. it's still with the pro, still with the blessings. <laughs> he still with his name on it, his ownership on it. Mm. So do you want to have your own girlfriend or you want to have God give you a girlfriend? Yeah. It's a difference. Very different, right? Mm -hmm. So oh God, I bring my girlfriend, can you prove it? <laughs> he may prove it. Mm. But it's not God give you a girlfriend, right? Mm. So, yeah. Very mm. different. Mm. That may be not the best. You can produce some yeast meal or something in life. <laughs> mm. Yeah. If God said, hey, wait on me, let me affirm it. Yeah? God needs a girlfriend, right? Mm. Give me a girlfriend. I was saying to young people. Maybe when, oh, God, can you affirm God? He will do it. He is very happy to do it, Benji. You know? Do you need me a teacher? Give me a teacher. He will happily bless with a teacher. Mm -hmm. Give me some friends. He will happily bless some friends. <laughs> he will do it. Have you feel to do it? I hope you don't have experience with it with that. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You never feel in gave me what relation I need. It's amazing, huh? Yeah. Remember, you come to my whatever mentorship. <laughs> and we all we ask for signs, all right? Yeah. A demand signs, all right? Yeah. Remember that, yeah. yeah? Has he refused to give you that? No. <laughs> <laughs> right? No so, yeah. We want your parents to be, your father especially to get involved. Yeah. Have your father not seen signs? Or oh, oh, Laura? I mean, we just had one time sitting down, ask God to do certain things. God already showed up, right? Yeah. So, mm. yeah, I was with your dad, so I understand. Mm. It was a sign, natural sign. Where do I go? <laughs> God will show up and confirm it with the natural signs. Can you believe that? Mm. When I see those things, oh, God is in this thing, right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember one time I was talking with Noah. I said, no, hey, it's like a little sparrow and then we are handy. God is, you know, we have sparrows, and I don't worry about tomorrow, Sure enough, in the snow ground, a little sparrow come around the sun, picking, picking on mm. the seaside, right? Mm. So I said, okay, maybe that's not good enough. Let God send another thing to confirm <laughs> that is not tangible, okay? So animal, you know, at yeah. our disposal almost. I said, look, look, there's a sign there. Look at that, there's a sign there. Something going to come out of the ocean. Form a spot ahead of time, right? Nothing there, yeah, right? So, mm -hmm. Sure enough, some some animal, sea creature come out of that the worst spot. Wow. Showed up. I said, have you seen this before in this location? No, I don't think we've seen that animal before. Mm. It's the worst spot I've talked to him. Mm. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. This moment's glad I was a sparrow guy. Feel he might think, oh, that's a cancer or a sparrow to love. I said, you must believe. Let's let's have another animal come around <laughs> to confirm. Mm. It's miracle for sure. But why God give that miracle in that moment? Mm. Because he wants us to be comforted with that he is in the business mm. dealing with us. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> He's testified to us. You do things that I'm with you. I'm doing this. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm. I'm carrying out a word meaningful work here. Mm. Because, yeah, you will see a vision. Thank you, Lord. Ah, what must be his love for those who, in a cheerful and absolute abandonment, resign themselves to the entire extent 
of his crucified view. <laughs> well, I'm so thrilled to, to see your work in Benji's life. <laughs> It's amazing. Hallelujah. And I pray those words will bring momentum. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, while talking, talking, and looking at you, I remind you, you're rich about seeing a foundation. Mm. Yes, don't have bond in the bank. Mm. Rather clean up a, a lot for building a house, something like that. Mm. Nice. So, yeah, two new houses. As there were stone gathered to build a new house, I don't quite recall that region. Mm. Yeah, it's a simple, very common place, but a beautiful horse when you wreck it. Benji, the world has many enticements, promise amazing good things. Man, <laughs> ambitious, you know, so. They think fulfillment life, enjoyment life, adventure life, as a criteria to have a fulfilled life. I will propose to you a fulfilled life is so different than those parameters, right? Hallelujah. Here, I'm a living example, okay? So, yeah. I know what it means to fulfill life. Yeah. Yeah. If in my life interviewed many, seems a chill life. But they are not fulfilled, for sure. And I heard many complain. People seem they got everything together. They come to me, weep like a baby, regret the choice they made. Tell me the torment in their life. Tell me the mistake they made. You know, mm. I'm a simple young lad. Sometimes even don't have any privilege in life. Mm. But somehow I struggle friendship with those people. They will pour all the heart out. And they struggle with many things. You know. Mm. Ambitious, chilled, intelligent, determined people. But in the day, you talk to them, are you happy? They're not happy with themselves, you know? Mm. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Mm. And many people never have God, for sure. That's one reason. Many people even have God, never happy. Because he has not revealed to them. He has not revealed himself to them. Thank you, Jesus. But I pray God will start with your life. With different sense of fulfillment. Amen. Hallelujah. Even we are simple. Even when we have in the eyes of the world a meaningless life. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But in God, it's full richness, meaning, and right? Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. In this, I bless you. Mm. The enticement and the joy in the world mm. will gradually lose its luster mm. and appeal to you. Thank you, Lord. Mm. And, and the value for godliness, value. Mm. Of his love, wisdom, or like a fresh river, hallelujah, mm. to nurture your heart. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. With that, we wrap it up that reading a list and uh, mm. going to bless me, maybe. Mm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm. Hope I'm helpful so far for your life. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me the best. Oh, yeah. mm. oh God. You are good. 
a good father, Lord, to to us. God, we we Lord give you praise mm. and glory, Lord, and we thank you, Lord. We come with praise and thanks, mm. Lord, for um, your pure desire, Lord, mm. to know our hearts, Lord, to mm. know us, to draw us closer to you, Lord, mm. to fulfill your purposes, Lord, is of most high honor, Lord, to be a part of your work, Lord, to be that part of creation, Lord, that is reserved for the Most High. Mm. Lord, as you desire it, mm. Lord, as you've seen your sons mm. all along, Lord, may we, Lord, even our lives can be busy and full of many things, mm. but Lord, continue to pray, Lord, for a relieving Mm -hmm. of things that oppress, Lord, and Mm -hmm. that distract, Lord, and that the free flow of your spirit, Lord, the Mm -hmm. pure way that your your way (laughs) functions, Lord, Mm -hmm. in our lives and within the context of your body Mm -hmm. would just be released, Lord, Mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That Lord, the form of your, of your, Lord, ultimate purpose would be, continue to be shaped out, Lord, and uh, refined, Mm. Lord, that we would continue to walk according to your purpose, Mm. Lord. Use us, Father, to encourage one another, Mm. Lord, to be to be like your son, Jesus, Lord, mm. a perfect pattern. Mm. Lord, I continue to pray for the fathers in our midst, <laughs> Lord, that you would encourage their hearts, Lord, mm. and stir them up. Mm. I think most of them are fairly encouraged. Mm. <laughs> and most of them are as well. Mm. <laughs> mm. The only few may be struggling. Mm. And let's pray they will overcome themselves. Amen. So, yeah. Lord, so we pray for those mm. who, Lord, are uh, under the spirit of confusion, Lord, mm. even, or of uh, feeling unworthy. Mm. Lord, that is not the problem for you. Mm. For you are worthy, Lord. Mm. And you call us worthy, Lord. Mm. And that is more than enough to know, Lord, that we are. Mm. So I continue to pray, Lord, that those voices would be shut off and shut down. Mm. Lord, and that your voice would be of a new impact on Mm. those hearts, Lord, Mm. and of a real impact on those Mm. hearts. Mm. That your truth, Lord, would convict us and guide us, Lord, Mm. down that straight and Mm. very direct and narrow path, Lord. Mm pray for the physical and the spiritual healing, Lord, Mm. in our midst, that you would touch those. Use the young generation, Lord, to to bless, and use the old generation, Lord, just bring us into unity under your your governing power, Lord. Mm. Lord, reveal to us what you're doing, Mm. And Lord, I pray for a breakthrough, Mm. breakthroughs in our midst, Lord, Mm. so we can forge ahead, Mm. Lord, forge ahead Mm. into your great purposes, Lord. Mm. We we certainly don't want to be the ones that hold you back, Lord, (laughs) for Mm. you are all ready, all willing. Always holding Mm. back. (laughs) That's uh, that's inevitable, Benzies. Mm. So far, mm. yeah. 
<laughs> May the Lord finally release you know, Amen. Mr. Russ. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Pray that you bless my brother Emmanuel, mm. Lord, as a spiritual leader in our midst. Mm. Lord, one that you have given authority. Mm. Mm. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to build your kingdom through him continue to to Lord to use his his life as you already have Lord to truly Lord enlist your power Lord into into others Lord, I pray that you would give him confirmation mm. on the things that he wrestles with, Lord, mm. for the things that... I will tell you, <laughs> every few thing I wrestle with today, mm. except God's Amen. purpose, found the free expression in our lives. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you, Lord. There are things, personal stuff, mm. but I don't think cannot be overcome. Mm. You know? so Amen. The grace of God looking to help. So. Mm. so, yes, Lord, mm. we believe in that. Mm. In your overcoming grace, mm. Lord, continue to help us not to focus on ourselves either, mm. Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. You know, the Lord has let me recently really understand to overcome the spirit of age beings, you know. Mm. Spirit, of, spirit age. of this age. Mm. So, yes, Lord, would you mm. seal that? Help us to overcome the spirit of this age, Lord, and to mm. be released, Lord, into your kingdom age. Mm. 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 Thank you, Lord. Pray that you be blessed, Lord, in all things. Mm. That we would be able to submit to your perfect will. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love, Lord. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. So, anything you saw? Mm. I was saying, see something, maybe. Yeah. I was Nothing. reminded of a vision I saw a while ago. Actually, okay, yeah. Uh, of the gears turning again. Uh, you remember that vision? Oh, yeah. That's why it was uh, with Elijah, something uh, to do with. Uh? Maybe. Please repeat. Mm -hmm. I, I'm still trying to remember myself, honestly, but I. It was like a key that was needed to turn the gears. Oh yeah, we we use that for encouraging mm. to to turn your life on or something, mm. right? Something. To gear it up, something. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Man, that's interesting. I remember mm. now. So, yeah. Yeah. I would tell you I'm the key, turning the mm. key, something, right? So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe you were affirming the the purpose in this relationship. I yeah, think. I think so. Mm. Yeah. I look forward to truly disciple mm. or teach you deeper things, the most solid thing in the Lord. Mm. I don't think it's necessarily topical, mm. <laughs> you know. Many people think a disciple is just topical. I don't think so. I think it's a part light to light, wisdom to wisdom. Mm. We of understanding to we of understanding. It's a culture impartation. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. Culture impartation. Partial impartation, like yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, many people think the way I carry myself is my made it. Mm. I try to tell you, it's very strangely how I came to be. Right? Without God, for sure, nobody can be who they are. Mm. But the way I am today, yeah. it, there is a higher power. Mm. I think it's God. Yeah. All day my life, I go through things and taught me things in between, and and I was able to to become who I am today. Because you know, of so. him, yeah. Ah, sorry. Because of that. Yes. Because of yes. His yes. Yes. Some. Some. I just have a lot of strange thing happening in my life. Mm. I, mean, I think there are people maybe have more colorful adventures like that. My 
my point is I got to bring my own life experience into a greater contest. Mm. Mm-hmm. God said so, so yeah. you know I try to do it. So, mm. and uh, so I I try to interpret my life to understand my life in a way. How God said, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. And then Paul said that and he said, "I want to know God as He know me." Mm. We often think it's a casual conversation, mm. a casual comment because God know me. He said, "Oh, He know." We never think about that. Mm. I mean, this can be a general concept, right? Yeah, God knows a bird, knows the lily, knows everybody, everything. Mm. But what do you mean He know Paul? We know, think about it. But I do know God know me. He told me that. Mm. It's a living revelation. I don't stand that. Mm. Very well. Mm. He knows my past and the future sins and the past achievement and future achievement. Mm. I mean, this amazing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I'm not talking about all good stuff. The mm. good is bad and ugly, okay? Mm. I remember one time, just for your encouragement, mm. young people, this kind of things were going to open your dimension in your life. So I talked to Elijah, I think it's morning morning, we had time. I'm going to share the same thing with you a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I was using the pair, but said it's a table like a 2D, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. If I have a 2D surface, it's infinite now. It's every direction is infinite, right? So, mm. It's a messy mm-hmm. reality. Mm-hmm. All kind of thing can happen to a 2D, right? Mm. 2D reality. Let's see, this room is a 3D, okay? Mm. All the rooms in it. Even it's in this roof, even it's its walls, even have a floor on it, mm. behind the doors. But it's still 3D. Mm. Okay? In my sphere. Mm. I don't know everything outside the world. I don't know what's happening in Washington, D.C. or mm. back in China. Mm. I don't know actually. I only know I can see in this room, right? Mm-hmm. My point is that mm. if I have this 3D point of view to engage reality, and you are an ant walking on this uh, surface, joking, kissing. I'm thinking about mm-hmm. of bird flying here, there, right? Mm-hmm. Bird, not senseless. Yeah. But at least know the freedom of my world is not just walk on the surface of the table, right? Mm. My, am I making sense here? In this, uh, I can choose to use my leg on the surface and even touch that, even walk with that. For a while. Mm. But I know that is we're limited, right? Mm. I'm like, and let's walk with him, you know? Mm. I'm talking about walking around, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I know our life, our walk, our companionship mm. is confined by the 3D surface level. The measure, the end, can make his movement. Mm. It's a movement. Then it cannot fly. It, it can say, hey, I want to jump. The end don't jump. <laughs> That's it. Right? Make sense mm. here? So is in human communication. Spiritual conversation. They are very spiritual. This is strange for Christians now. Mm. It's a spiritual. Suppose and the spiritual being and the bird is also a spiritual being. You can never tell they're not, not companion and the fellowship. They're talking about definite reality, but it's a 2D reality. Mm. Mm. It's infinite as well. <laughs> Means we can have endless conversations. But the 3D creature coming to fellowship or dialogue with them, the 2D 
existence, mm. right? He instantly knows the difference. Yeah. Mm. He doesn't know. He can't carry a 3D kind of conversation with a 2D movement, mm. you know? A creature of 2D movement. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying here? Mm. They're all spiritual. Mm. So most Christians I encountered, most of them, let's see, 99% list is 2D creatures, spiritually speaking. Mm. Don't even think there is 3D existence, mm. even they're spiritual beings. Mm. Interesting. Am I making sense here? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Therefore, you cannot interact. You, you can't interact on the level mm. the customer to or mm. the capable. Yeah. The other day, who I'm talking to, I said, "Your dad mm. or somebody." Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I said, "How do you think about the seven spirits?" Mm. It's sevenfold spirit, am I? Yeah. Oh no, I told that. I'm mean, only read the Bible for the spirit. Mm. Oh, that's a sure, maybe he said. Mm. Maybe. Sure, is the one inspired me to teach on the spirit. Mm. Of all those years, I come back to her, to her, to query her a little bit. I said, Have you been taught by the seven spirits? Mm. And they all are aware that I was taught by the Lord to expand the spirit, but the Lord told me. But have we taught by the seven spirit? Mm. Very few did. So I prove the case. This is a case I might be in, the, in the danger of repeating myself. Mm. I don't think my conversation with her is recorded, so mm. worth to repeat. I said, you know, people will study, write a book with the seven spirit. They pull all the commentaries, study all the things. All the scholarly study, every word, mm -hmm. every scripture. Mm -hmm. So you gonna write a very biblical referenced and explained book, am I? Mm -hmm. The seven spirit. They exhaust that. Some people do that, I believe. <laughs> and then some people said, Hey, I went to the heavens, like God this is a Visitation and there is a treasure band. I, mean, I heard people talk like that as well. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's the same spirit in there. Mm. It's as if the same spirit is something stored up there. You go there with it, then you can somehow just magically have it. And I said, mm. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Do you know how ridiculous that is? The scroll, whatever, you know, so. mm. Mm. because you have that kind of visitation experiences, you say, I must be taught by the seven spirit. That's what it means to be taught by the seven spirit. Mm. I propose to you all those uh, nonsense. <laughs> mm. <laughs> those are babies game, you know. Like a baby never do anything to talk, you know? Yeah. We're excited about something, you know? Mm. So why is it like your mind? I know the seven spirits through the scriptures. You do? I mean, I'm, I'm less a scholar than you. I mean, I don't know what all the words is. I don't know what those means. Mm. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I, I saw angelic realm, you know? Got this visitation. We got the scroll going on. We got the treasure box, whatever going on there, so. Then you ask them, so you think that's how you know the seven spirit? Well, yeah, we must, because, you know, I got the scroll gave to me. Mm -hmm. Really now? <laughs> <laughs> so how I mean to be taught by the seven spirit? You have to grow into it. You have to practice it. 
You can't be talking and talk about it or have visitation think it's dumb. That's mm-hmm. only the start. Mm-hmm. That's like a turning key. Then you what? Turning. That's only something. Oh, it's there. Mm-hmm. Oh, a potential to get it. Whether through the reading word or spiritual impartation, whatever. Mm-hmm. But you must put in practice so you can grow into it. So my conversation with you talk like we talking about, but uh, we talking is talking. My question is really now. Depends on who is talking. Mm-hmm. Depends on what is producing you. Yeah. No, since that you never mentioned the Holy Spirit, you never mentioned the angelic visitation. Mm-hmm. You never opened the scriptures even. <laughs> You know, prove that you are talking with the seven spirit. What are you talking about? What's the spirit talking about? Mm-hmm. Are you talking with the spirit of wisdom? Are you talking with the spirit of understanding? Are you talking with the spirit of counsel? Why you don't study the scriptures and the young man know all the scripture, know all the commentary, all know your thoughts? Why you don't do that? So you think you're teaching the word of God? You're not teaching the word of God? Really now? <laughs> Who is really teaching the word of God? Mm-hmm. Who is really teaching the word of God? Very interesting, huh? Mm-hmm. Depends on how you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how you define the word of God? Mm-hmm. The word of God on the pages, in those commentaries, in those the dictionaries. Mm. You do, you those co- annotations or discourses based on the scriptures or the word of God become alive. You can see that. Jesus is not a human being. Mm-hmm. Oh, you tell me what a spirit of wisdom look like. <laughs> what a spirit of understanding would look like. You tell me what it look like. What does their wisdom look like? What does you know? What does it look like? <laughs> Listen to this word carefully. Solomon is the one reading the book, am right? Or oh, David, am right? Counsel, wisdom, whatever. Oh, Isaiah, whoever it is, they're going to show up. We're going to make a decision. We're going to. I was going to use it. Hey, look at my book, man. <laughs> look at this. I wasn't going to engage a conversation with you. I said, let's do this. I think this way. This, this is my thinking. This is your thinking. Mm-hmm. What do you think? we we'll do this. Mm-hmm. So, you tell me I cannot do that with them? If I can do that with them, mm. and it's like for me to fellowship with them, and then counsel with them. Okay. So why who wrote the book? <laughs> mm. Can I do that? So you read the Bible, you got all the angels, you never think about that? Is that arrogant or something just misconstruing them, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Interesting, huh? Yeah. yeah. Is Peter going to show up and dictate this be peace all to me? <laughs> Explain this be peace all to me? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not saying my word or writing is equivalent to Peter's be mm. peace so I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the Father, the Son, then the common fellowship with us, am I right? Mm-hmm. If we have fellowship through the Spirit in Christ, yeah. am I right? Mm. So what fellowship look like? You tell me. Mm. So Peter, every day, just open the scripture, expand the scriptures, bash you with, <laughs> okay, uh, overflow you with the scriptures, his understanding, all his angelic hesitation, his miracle signs. Mm-hmm. 
are going to deal with it. What do you think about that church? What do you think about this relationship? What do you think God is doing here? What do you think uh, he's up to today, right? So, mm. What do you think about that vision? What do you think about that divine revelation given to that brother, sister? What do you think about that? Yeah, I think the church age is pretty missing the mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Those are spiritual given, so you can just stand on the mm -hmm. <laughs> take a notes and yeah. stick to the wall yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. then walk away. What does that produce? I know. Mm -hmm. My point, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody has the fellowship to make you work mm -hmm. or parse it out. Mm -hmm. First one is saying whether that from the Lord or not, you know, so that's good or not. Saying so if it means something, Paul apply it. Mm. To whom we should apply it, to what a situation we should apply. Should not those be a a living conversation of meaningful fellowship? Mm. Or are gonna replace my understanding of scripture to you. I'm going to teach you the spirit of counsel, but never counsel you mm. in real life. Mm. <laughs> How that works. Mm. Are you going to walk away saying, hey, I'm a student for God's counsel through that teacher? Or when I counsel you, through the spirit of counsel, through the living reality of life, the city of life. Are you going to walk away saying, I've never been taught the spirit of counsel, you know? I don't know what, I don't know what, you went that whole, what it means. Oh, I never know how it works. Mm. <laughs> I try to open your mind up, Benji. Whole Christianity have produced something totally eating to even the Bible we're talking about. Mm. You got the right doctrine based on the scripture, understand the scriptures, study your study, figure out what it really means. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, then what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. And seriously, then what? Much like you know, I used to be an economist or try to be economist, then right? Mm -hmm. So learn economics theory stuff and all of these topics. <laughs> I love all kinds of theories. I can write a beautiful ethics. My ethics is pretty impressed. Mm -hmm. so, my professor are impressed by them, so. yeah. I'm joking. So. And they were. They wanted me to co author with them book, seeing that stuff with that. So as as undergrad, that's how I own her, you know. So yeah. yeah. Anyway. So then I come to the business world. <laughs> Can I even do accounting? <laughs> So I learned the hard way. And after that, I decided I'm going to learn everything in a practical way. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to be content with a lofty, hard, metaphysical construct. Mm. I'm going to learn things in a very practical way. So I'm not going to read all the book telling me what demonology is about. <laughs> so I'm going to deal with the real demons. Yeah. Okay, right? Mm. I want to know about it. I want to, I want to, I want to figure out <laughs> what it means. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Have you seen this ridiculousness? People tell you how to use tongues, preach tongues, whatever, you know, how to use the gift of tongues and never speak in tongues. Mm. I'm just saying to you, right? Mm. So, like, uh, you're going to comment a, a Spanish poem. Mm. <laughs> I never know Spanish. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, that can work. I mean, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Mm. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Mm. 
Then I'll translate to English. I understand the beauty of the imagery in English. But can I preach the beauty of that poem really in Spanish? <laughs> preach the beautiful Spanish language through that poem? Mm. Because I understand English words in of it. And preach the translation of it. That's two different worlds. Am I in a sense, right? So, mm. <laughs> I, I didn't say you don't know. I don't say your English is not bad, not good. No, 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 that's not the point. My point is a poem is composed in Spanish. Mm. And its own beauty cannot be appreciated otherwise unless you know Spanish. Spanish. Mm. So it's a spiritual thing. Mm. So it's a spiritual thing. The spiritual discerned. You instantly know who is left living out of the 3D life on the 2D life. Mm -hmm. It's instant. Mm -hmm. Amen. With that, you close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You want to live a, a spiritual life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you must open up the teachings of the Spirit of God mm -hmm. in multi dimensional ways. Mm -hmm. The seven spirit, seven fold spirit. Seven flows of spirit. So like a seven dimensions, okay? Mm. <laughs> do, do you understand my point? In this, uh, it's endless. Mm. And a divine order to it. Understand that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to impress you, okay? Mm. See, the seven color, the rainbow, is a circle, am I right? It's a full circle. And the full circle, has seven realms, seven dominions. That's layered with the seven colors. Does that give a good picture for things going on? So the seven filled according to order. Seven days of life, a little circle, am I? Little cycle. Leading to the 12 months of the year. Is that making sense to you? Is that making sense to you? Mm. Are you supposed to have food? Always. Year in and out, day in and day out. You're supposed to have a seminal spirit constantly feeding you. But eventually the Holy Spirit work is going to pursue a life of divine order and divine increase. Mm. and produce cell kind of fruits. That's mystery, huh? Mm. It's crazy, huh? Think about it. Mm. I'll just give you some simple things in the Bible. To be taught differently, Benji, is not mystical. It's a very real thing, right? So, mm. yeah. Mm. You can find in the Bible, we're going to ramp up here. And Paul teaches people differently. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Did he teach the same topic with everybody? He said, there are things I taught everybody everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Every church taught these things. And there are things he said, I only share with the one who is mature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he said, there are places I only share and entrust a dialogue with the one who is a saint. Who's, who's have a mission mission work with him and the spiritual leadership with him. Is that making sense to you? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. All those should be transpired to you is what God want to do with your life. What is doing your life? Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. May the Lord bless you. Mm -hmm. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord continue to open your spiritual eyes and heart to the greater realities of life for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.